today we are testing the Intel Pentium G7400 in Overwatch 2. In Task Manager you can see the CPU, the memory, and of course the RTX 3060 which is the graphics card in the computer. It's also overclocked slightly, you can see an MSI Afterburner, and in CPU-Z you can see the CPU, memory, and every other thing that it shows, as well as in GPU-Z and hardware monitor. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the game. First off, we're trying out 1080p on the lowest settings, and it was running quite nice actually. It was getting roughly 150 to 200 frames per second, which is pretty much a high refresh rate experience. Though it did stutter a small bit, not near as much as when I made a video with the iGPU where that was stuttering all the time, but it was still stuttering quite a bit, which that is a little bit weird. The reason why is because it was only on 1080p on the low settings. 1080p on the highest settings, or I guess it's considered epic, it wasn't really stuttering at all. It only stutters when you die, no matter what you do. It just stutters when you die. But besides that, though, for some reason, 1080p high was stuttering way less than 1080p low. But also locking the frame rate to, let's say, 70 also helped iron out the stutters a bit. I also had two instances where the game would just hard freeze and crash, which is a little bit weird. I'm assuming maybe a update broke part of the game, because that wasn't happening with the Phenom 6 that I'd benchmarked, or the UHC 710 graphics, which is the same CPU. Then I tested out 1440p on the Epic settings, and it was still running quite decently. It was getting roughly 80 to 100 frames per second, and... Yeah, it stuttered occasionally, but again, not like 1080p on the low settings, so it was still a very nice experience, and yes, it wasn't a high refresh rate experience at that point, it wasn't above, what was it, 144 frames per second, but to be completely honest, this is a CPU that's only using, like, 30 watts. At most. If you limit the frame rate to like 70 frames per second, the CPU is only using about 19 to 20 watts, which is kind of absurd in a way if you think of it. Like, 20 watts to get 70 frames per second. It just doesn't drink any power. And then I tried 1440p on the low preset without any FPS cap, and it was actually, again, running very nice. In this case, it was actually getting a high refresh rate experience. I don't really know the definition of that exactly, but I think it's 144 frames per second. Well, either way, it was getting way into the 100s. It was almost at 200 almost all the time. Sometimes it would drop down into the 180s, 170s, but yeah, like, 200 frames per second, and the graphics card wasn't completely maxed out all of the time in that situation, so we do know what the CPU can actually get. Otherwise, if the graphics card was maxed out, then we wouldn't really know. Though, in MSI Afterburner, I went over and limited the power limit to 58% at the end, because that's what I normally have the computer set at, and then the graphics card was only using about 100 watts, and yes, it was GPU bound, but it was still giving about 150 frames per second, which is far out a very good experience. Far out, is that the right word in that situation? I don't know, but it was a very good experience. Well, I guess it isn't fully GPU bound. It does drop from 100% sometimes, but it does hit that quite a lot in its CPU benchmark. I would say that the Intel Pentium G7400 has plenty of power to play Overwatch 2, so if you're thinking of picking up the game for free, since the game is free, you might as well, it's gonna play just fine. Either way, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.